And developing tonight, a show of support from parents for a guidance counselor suspended at Roncalli High School because she's married to a woman. Ron Colley held the first in a series of meetings between parents and administrators about the controversy surrounding Shelley Fitzgerald. Our David McNally on what those parents said and what Shelley's sister says Shelley doesn't want to happen. We support you, Shelley. Ron Colley Rebel takes on new meaning outside this Catholic high school. We really need to band together to go against what the establishment is so that we can evoke change, get the contract changed, and allow people in Shelley's circumstances to be able to do their job. Longtime guidance counselor Shelley Fitzgerald suspended over her same sex marriage, which is a violation of her contract. Their theme Thursday night as they wave flags and signs at other parents, leaving the first of several small group meetings with Roncalli administrators. The parents' chance to be heard on the issue. The administration was listening. Um, we prayed before and after. This parent was in the meeting. One of the things that I said is they have a great deal of power and they have a, an amazing opportunity to yep. right this ship. Yes, they do. The eyes of the yep. world are on them. Um, she says administrators were emotional too. Thank you guys. Thank you. Who you love has absolutely nothing to do with your ability to do a wonderful job. Times are changing and as with different aspects of everyone's life, you know, there has to be some flexibility there. Uh, my mom was a Catholic school teacher for years and years. I'm a devout Catholic and I can tell you that it's shameful that Ron Colley can't change with the times as they should. And there was concern about lost corporate support, even loss of students, many of whom are showing their support on their school lockers. But Shelley Fitzgerald's sister says Shelley feels... That our church is, are these kids and these parents are just taking up for me. Our church isn't the hate and she doesn't want, she loves Ron Colley, and she doesn't want anybody to pull their kids from Ron Colley. That's the last thing that she heard. A person who attended the meeting tonight said one man was morally opposed to the guidance counselor's personal choices but felt that she should be kept on. The principal told us three more small groups with parents are scheduled and they should conclude by September 6th.